Hi guys, I'm Emma from CIMA, and this is the 23rd lesson of our Easy Topic 1 class. Today's class starts on page 145 of CIMA Easy Topic 1 book. First, let's read the passage for the questions number 49 and 50. 저는 다른 나라의 언어나 문화에 관심이 많습니다. 관심이 많습니다. I have a lot of interest in 다른 나라의 언어나 문화에 in the language and culture of other countries. 요즘에는 these days 스페인어와 문화를 공부하고 있습니다. I'm studying Spanish and the culture of Spain. 스페인어는 재미있지만 Learning Spanish is interesting. 지만, but 발음이 좀 어렵습니다. The language is a bit hard to pronounce. 그래서, so that's why 스페인 친구에게 스페인어를 히어 I do something in 히어 about Spanish language to my Spanish friend. 한국어도 가르쳐 주고 있습니다. I teach him or her Korean as well. 에게 here is a postpositional particle that can refer to either the target that's influenced by a certain action or the one performing the action. So appears like he learns Spanish from the Spanish friend and at the same time teaches Korean to the same Spanish friend. Question 49. 기억에 들어갈 알맞은 말을 고르십시오. Let's choose the word to fill in the 기억. 배우니까, because I'm learning. 배우지만, although I'm learning. 배우면서, as I'm learning, and do something else at the same time. 배우는데, I'm learning and. What marking particle is the most appropriate here? The clauses before and after the kiok don't have the reason and cause relationship or an opposing relationship. But rather, most likely they are happening together, as in the writer is learning Spanish from the friend, and at the same time the writer is teaching Korean to his or her friend. So the correct answer is number 3. 배우면서 스페인 친구에게 스페인어를 배우면서 한국어도 가르쳐 주고 있습니다. Question number 50. 이 글의 내용과 같은 것을 고르십시오. Let's choose the sentence that matches the passage. 저는 스페인어를 가르칩니다. No, he's learning, not teaching Spanish. So, 저는 스페인어를 배웁니다. 친구는 스페인어를 공부합니다. Well, the friend is teaching as well, not learning from the writer. So, 친구는 스페인어를 가르칩니다. 스페인어는 발음하기가 쉽습니다. Did the writer say that Spanish is easy to pronounce? No. 스페인어는 발음이 좀 어렵습니다. It's a bit hard to pronounce. So, 스페인어는 발음하기가 좀 어렵습니다. Number four. 저는 스페인 문화에 관심이 많습니다. Finally, here's the correct one. He said he has lots of interest in the language and cultures of other countries. In these days, he's studying the Spanish language and culture. So the correct answer should be number four. 
Now here's the passage for question numbers fifty-one and fifty-two. 요즘은 고양이를 키우는 사람들이 많습니다. These days, lots of people have cats. 드라마나 영화에서도 고양이가 자주 나옵니다. Cats frequently appear in dramas and movies as well. 가끔 영화에서는 At times, in some movies, 우리가 먹는 음식이나 우유를 The food and milk we normally consume 고양이에게 줍니다. It's given to cats. 기어, blank. 사람이 먹는 음식은 human food, 고양이에게 위험할 수 있습니다. Can be dangerous to cats. What relationship can you see between the sentences before and after the blank? There are many scenes that seem to depict that it's normal to give cats human food, but such food can be dangerous to cats. Yes, they are contrary to each other. So a conjunction like but would be the most appropriate to fill in the blank. So we've already got the answer for question number 51. 그러나 가끔 영화에서는 우리가 먹는 음식이나 우유를 고양이에게 줍니다. 그러나 사람이 먹는 음식은 고양이에게 위험할 수 있습니다. At times you can see some scenes where people give their foods to cats, but 그러나 that can jeopardize the health of cats. As an FYI, what's 그리고? Yes, and. 그래서, so, or thus, 그러면, if so.